let's take a look at how we can use a TI-84 plus to help us factor trinomials. And let's take a look at our first problem here. We've got um, x squared minus 6x minus 16. Now we're going to go to our calculator and press y equals. And on y1 we're going to put our trinomial. So we've got x squared minus 6x minus 16. And we're going to down arrow and we're going to put 0 on y2. This process does not work unless you have 0 on y2. And we're going to do second trace. We're going to choose intersect, so I'll press number 5. And I have my calculator zoomed out from a previous problem, so I'm going to do zoom and I choose Z standard, 6. I should have checked that before I started in. Okay, and now we're going to do second trace. Choose intersect. Now our answer is where it crosses the x-axis. Looks like negative 2 is one of them. And it's asking us for first curve, so we'll do enter on that. It's asking us for second curve, so we'll do enter on that. And for the guess, we're going to input an x-value close to our answer. And let me put in negative 3. And then press enter. And it comes back and tells us our first answer is negative 2. Well, we got another answer over on this side. Looks like 8. So let's do second trace. I'll press 5 for intersect. Enter on first curve, enter on second curve, and for the guess, let me actually input what I think the answer is. You don't have to be a, a x value close to it, it can be what you think the answer is. So we put 8 in and press enter. And it comes back and tells us the intersection is x equals 8. Now our goal is to get 0 on the right side and not have any fractions. So I'm going to take this negative 2, move it over the same side as the x, and I'll take this 8 and move it over. And we're going to get x plus 2 is equal to 0. And on this one, we're going to get x minus 8 is equal to 0. Since we got 0 on both on the right sides and no fractions, then this becomes um, x plus 2 times x minus 8. Let's take a look at another problem. We've got 8x squared minus 6x minus 5. Then we're going to do the same thing. So I go to y equals, press clear, and then 8x squared minus 6x minus 5. Now you should have 0 on y2. Again, it doesn't work unless you have 0 there. And we'll do second trace, choose 5 for intersect. Looks like it's uh, negative a half and 1 point something. Anyway, I'll do enter on first curve, enter on second curve, and we put in a guess of negative 1. Comes back and tells us negative 0.5. Now, we don't want decimals, um, but notice it says x equals that. To change that to fraction form, we'll exit out, do second mode, and then you press your x key, math, enter, enter. And that gives us x equals negative 1 half. Now we got another answer. So let's do it again. We'll do second trace, choose intersect, enter on first curve, enter on second curve, and we put in two for the guess. We want to input an x value close to our answer. Answer is where it crosses the x axis. So I'll put in two and then press enter, and we get 1.25. Again, to change that to a fraction, we exit out, second mode, and do x, math, enter, enter. And we get x equals 5 fourths. Okay, now we don't want fractions, and a very easy way to get rid of the fractions is to multiply both sides by this denominator. So I'll multiply both sides by 2, and that gives us 2x, and over on this side, the 2's cancel and gives us negative 1. And again, our goal is to get a 0 on the right side, so I'll take that negative 1 and move it over. Remember, you take anything across your equals, your sign changes, so negative 1 becomes a positive 1. And same thing on this. The easy way to get rid of the fractions is multiply both sides by this denominator. So multiply both sides by 4. And that's going to give us 4x equals, and those 4s cancel, leaves us 5. And uh, then we want to take that 5 and move it over to the left side, and it becomes a negative 5. 
Now again, our goal is to get zero on the right side and no fractions, which is what we have. So this factors as 2x plus 1 times 4x minus 5. Okay, let's look at a third problem that demonstrates that this isn't the perfect technique. Um, but if you if you struggle with factoring, then this is definitely an option. We've got x squared plus 20x minus 1500. Okay, so let's uh, take a look. We press y equals, press clear, x, and then x squared plus 20x minus 1500. Now if I just press graph, I don't even do my second trace, uh, once it comes back, it's still thinking here, see the little dashes going there? It doesn't cross the x-axis anywhere. We can't see it. Well, we'll have to zoom out to actually see a little bit more of it. So I'm going to do zoom and choose 3 for zoom out. Now it's waiting for me to position my cursor, and the origin's fine. So I press enter one time, and it's sitting there thinking. Comes back, and here's one answer, but that's not good enough. I wanted two. So I press enter one more time. And now I see it crossing in two places, which is what we're wanting. So you may have to zoom out to see that, or you may have to zoom in to see better. If you don't know how to zoom in, zoom out, you should watch the videos on zooming. Now I'm going to do my second trace. Choose intersect, number five. Enter on first curve, enter on second curve. I have no idea what these tick marks are, so I'm going to use my left arrow key to move my flashing cursor over closer to the one I want to find. So I'm moving closer over to that one and press enter. And it tells us x equals negative 50. Okay, well let's find the one on the right side. So do second trace, choose intersect. Enter our first curve, enter our second curve, and I'll do my right arrow key over close to that one. And then press enter. And we get x is equal 30. Now again, our goal is to get 0 on the right side and no fractions. So I'm going to take the negative 50, move it over, and I'll take the positive 30 and move it over. Remember the sign changes when you move it over, so the negative 50 becomes a positive 50. And the positive 30 becomes a negative 30. So we just got 0 on one side, so this now factors as x plus 50 times x minus 30. I debated whether to put this video out here, because I had shown this technique way back when, when I used to teach a one-credit graphing calculator class. Um, but I started thinking, you know, f factoring is such a universal um skill that you need in college algebra. I think I counted one time there's 13, 15 different sections where you need to use factoring. And I, I used to always claim that if you can't factor, you're probably not going to get through college algebra. And that was probably wasn't far off. Um, so I started thinking about, should I, should there be one topic that prevents somebody from achieving their dream, whatever it is? And I thought, no, that it shouldn't be. Um, now there's programs you can get for your, your calculator that do this even slicker than this. Um, but this is a way you can use the standard functionality of the um, TID 4 plus uh, to, to factor.